Lou Graham is rejoining Foreigner for a huge 40th anniversary tour this summer. There are some strings attached, and just wait a second. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. There was a lot of mix-up and a lot of talk online on Facebook, on Twitter, basically everywhere, that Lou Graham possibly wasn't invited when some other original members were. At first, he said he was retiring from the industry, that he wasn't even asked to be on the tour, and then on his Twitter account, he just said, after cross wires and miscommunication, I can confirm that I and the original band have been invited to join Foreigner for a song or two. Then he posted Dennis Elliott and Rick Wills will be at St. Augustine, Florida, plus Ian McDonald and Al Greenwood, and I will perform a date yet to be determined. If you've got all these guys together, I mean, listen, you know, in a perfect world, all the original members would just get together and do a tour. I know there, there's a new Foreigner. I mean, there's a great possibility the guys who are the new members of Foreigner are hired hands, much like what happened with Timothy B. Schmidt with the Eagles and possibly even Joe Walsh of the Eagles, where, you know, Fry and Henley were getting all the money and the other guys were hired hands. And it might cost a lot to get these original members back full time. But isn't that what people want? The tour will also feature Cheap Trick and Jason Bonham and launch in Syracuse, New York, July 11th. Founding member and lead guitarist Mick Jones said on their website, I never would have imagined when I set out to create Foreigner 40 years ago that we'd still be touring around the world and performing the music we love all these years later. It was the winter of 1977, and I remember hearing it feels like the first time for the first time. I was 17 years old, and it was a cold winter that winter, and I remember I either heard it on... Uh, WKBW or WPTR in Albany, my two favorite stations that I would listen to on my AM radio that I could catch from uh, eastern New Brunswick, of all places. That's where I grew up, where it really was cold. But I couldn't afford the album, and I went out and bought the 45 right away. Within a month, I was able to buy the album. But that was a special experience for anyone growing up in the 70s, especially the great music of the late 70s. I look forward to this tour. Um, there's going to be, uh, this tour is mostly in the U.S. right now, but there's going to be more dates added. Hopefully, they'll come and see me and possibly you too. But it's exciting news. And listen, Lou Graham says two or three songs. That could be expanded, depending upon you, the fans, of course. It's the original band. Come on, Mick Jones. Do more with it. Make sure you comment on our videos and subscribe to our channel and share our videos. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Music.